Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for June 24th, 2020. Please show me what Libra needs to know here or see. Thank you. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's doing great. Your first card, Prudence in the Upright. So you're looking deep into something, maybe yourself. You could be um, being very patient about something. I feel like someone is trying to, um, this is a very judgmental feeling down here and it can be regarding the public, like just general people around you. And this is coming out of that. This is trying to see something from a different point of view. This is looking at your reflection or you're looking at a message. You could be looking in the mirror. Um, you're seeing something. There's a snake wrapped around the handle of this mirror. So it's like reading between the lines, um, looking deeper. This can also mean that um, someone could have been under the influence of someone's... Oh, uh, what's the word for that? Almost... Well, it, it's, it's a bit of a brainwashy card, actually. But someone is, is coming out of that or just a situation in your life where you have to, you're trying to take, or sorry, you're trying to, you're trying to see something from someone else's point of view. You're, you're broadening your mind, you're expanding your perceptions. In the how, eight of wands in the upright. This is a gathering, this is activity with um, several people, or this can be several messages, lots of communication. So I feel like that's what you're looking at. You're looking, you're either reading someone's messages and you're reading between the lines, or you're trying to empathize, or you're just you're just getting a lot of information that you're you're reviewing or you're um, you're really scrutinizing something scrutinizing the information coming your way this is a lot of activity a lot of a lot of news this can mean news so you could just be questioning the news right now definitely a lot of communication going on something's not getting past you in your why three of swords in the upright something at a distance could be messages at a distance or from someone at a distance this can mean that that you're hurt that you're heartbroken But this doesn't feel, this is, this is happy. This is productive, happy, um, enthusiastic. So it almost feels like you're, you could be waiting to see someone and you're, you're communicating with them. But this is, this is feeling on guard to me. So someone could be messaging you and sounding very um, enthusiastic, but you might not trust them. You might feel like you have to dig deeper. The, this could also be previous heartbreak. You could be guarded because of previous heartbreak and someone is actually truly messaging you with enthusiasm about you, but your own past has made you judgmental about trusting. Is this can be past heartbreak so you could be fearful of that happening again two sorry three of wands in the upright is in how you feel this is starting something new two threes um, this could be business this could be love this could be friendship this could be just getting together on something with someone I feel like you want to there's something you want to start with someone that you're in communication with, but your past heartbreak is making you very, very wary and very judgmental. 
So you're really combing someone's messages to make sure they're in alignment with you before you start something. Um, it looks really good though, because you are getting sprung from something here. Something new is going to release you from something. This looks like you have a lot of energy to, to pour into something and it's going to set you free. This is some kind of um, disagreement. It's right beside you getting free of something. Also here, this is like an internal anxiety and internal dispute, feeling regretful of something. It could be that past heartbreak. Like this to me is saying, you know what you're doing. You know you're being influenced by something in your past. So you're trying to move past it, but it scares you. It makes you really nervous, but you're doing it anyway, because it's, it's here, this, this springing yourself from something in the past. You're definitely moving on in your advice. Page of Cups in the reverse. That is some kind of, well, internal dispute beside, it's, this almost feels like a temper tantrum, like an emotional, overwhelming experience. This is a crush. I'm feeling like this is like a purge like you have to let, you have to release your internal angst so you can get free of something. And, and I feel like this is giving your heart to someone. Let's see what the bottom of the deck is. Oh, sweet. Two of wands in the upright. So yeah, you have to let go of your regrets. This is regrets. This is this could be hanging on to it. This all feels like some kind of internal, it's, it doesn't feel like it's too heavy. It's, it's almost like it's just the residual effect of something in your past, something that made you very, very guarded of your heart. But you're ready to, you're ready to move. You're ready to go. You're ready to break free. <laughs> in your future, you have the Page of Cups, he's pointing, or sorry, he's facing the Two of Wands in the reverse, which is a surprise. This is could be a surprise attraction. This is really sweet. This looks like you almost like hesitantly moving forward with giving someone a chance and you're going to surprise yourself or you're going to surprise them. This is a lot of physical attraction. I feel like you're going to be surprised by that. This is really sweet. This is this is heart based. This is this is like a crush, and this is really liking someone, feeling a lot in common with someone actually. And this is letting go of some little bit of I don't know. Um, it's not it's not bitterness. It's it's just, it's like a last little bit of fear that you've been hanging on to, but you're letting it go so that you can start something new. Oh, that's sweet. I really like that. All right, Libra. Um, oops. Your shuffle song is called Never Ever. <laughs> I love the title. It's S-T-R-F-K-R, -R, and it means, it's, it's Starfucker. All right. Love you guys. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.